Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see how to do one-to-many mapping relationship with Hibernate. So in the previous video, we saw one-to-one -one mapping. In this particular video, we are going to do one-to-many mapping. Uh, so let's take the same code base as the previous example. So I have opened that already. So what we did in the previous example was we created a user's contact. Uh, before that, we had a user's table and then we created a user's contact and we used the uh, Spring JP annotation one-on-one. -on -one. So basically one to one and we created a one to one mapping mapping between the users contact table and the users table so now what we are going to do is we are going to create one to many mapping with another table so what we can do is uh, let's say i'm going to create some uh, users log so basically some logging information okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new entity so i'll go ahead and use all the ceremonial things so i'm just marking this as entity marking this as table and I want the table name to be users slash log um, and the catalog basically the database is test so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a ID and this is the uh, this is going to be a uh, table which will have lots of information for the same user so basically this will have a different ID so this is going to have uh, generated value so I'm going to say auto so basically one user value can be related to multiple log user log so that is why I have uh, I was just mentioning that so uh, let's mark this column name as log underscore ID okay so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to have some uh, uh, var carry information basically string uh, which has a log information okay the care let's say the table name is log itself let's create the empty constructor let's create some getters and setters okay so we are done with this file so our basic uh, entity of users log is done now so now how do we use many to one sorry one to many information right so from the users we have to do that so so whenever we load the users uh, let's say we want to show the log as well so let's consider that case right so i want to uh, show the users the logging information of each user okay so what i'm going to do is uh, it's going to be a list right so one to many is a list so basically for a single user i want the list of logs which are present for that user so i'm going to say uh, list of users log okay and basically we can create some getters and setters now i'm going to use the one to many annotation okay and also uh, what what is the next we need to join the columns right so we are saying i'm saying the join column okay since we have only one column we can join we can use the annotation join column if we had two columns or more we can use join columns okay so you can use that use, use that annotation to join multiple columns and let me know if you want me to make a video on uh, joining multiple columns like i'll do that but for now i'll show the basic information of uh, joining each column okay so I, I need to join the column which is user id in this particular table and also I want to use uh, let's say retain the same users user ID itself so what I'm uh, telling here is I want to map the user ID in this column to the user ID in the users log column so what I will do here is I'll have to create a user ID right so I'm going to say integer user ID column okay so the other thing is uh, if you see the insertable and the updatable so we can make it as false if we want if we don't want to update the user's log so if i let's say I, I don't want to update this particular table then i can mark it as insertable and updatable as false so in that case uh, the data will not be cascaded to the user's log and same way uh, let's say i want to cascade this then i can say cascade as all and uh, it will automatically so whenever i have data in the users log it will automatically persisted in the users log table as well okay so we already had a rest endpoint right where we are creating a new contact new users and the contact information here i'm going to again create a user log information as well just a dummy log so let's do that so i created a new object users log right so in that i'm just going to set some log uh, hi YouTube okay I'm just setting me a log information called hi YouTube and I'm going to set it in the users information 
okay so since this is a list i let's say i create i'll create some more right i'll create one more law i'll say hi youtube and hi viewers so i'm going to say view log 2 So let me create a arrays.as list users log users log2. So I'll just need a list, right? So I'm just using the arrays API to create a list of uh, user log. Okay, so I'm just and I'm setting it here to the users. So what we are doing here is we are populating this user users log which we require. Okay, so whenever we update a user's contact information, it will be creating a user's information and it is going to log two new logs. So, okay, so let's uh, start this particular process and see whether it works or not. So what we do, uh, did here is we joined the columns of um, a user's table and the user log table using the user ID table and inside the user ID, it all automatically has an ID table which will be log ID. So that will be like a primary key for in individual row and user ID is going to be uh, our table oh, okay if you see here uh, i have named it as user underscore id let me rename this i didn't like that so i'm going to say user id and i'll just mark this column name as user underscore id okay and i'll do a get us set us let me restart this so you basically got the idea right so this has a log id as the primary key and uh, user ID will be the foreign key which will be used to link this user table. So basically in the users log you will have many rows for a single user. So basically we are solving one to many problem here. Uh, the same example can be used for many to one that we will see in the next video. But in this video we are going to see one to many. So uh, the process is up. Let's go and update the table. Okay, so first let's go and query uh, the table. Let's see what is there. So. So the endpoint is rest slash users slash all. If you see nothing is there, so we already created some uh, rest endpoint, right? Yeah, contact update. So let's say I'm adding Peter. So if you see here, what has happened is we uh, in this rest endpoint. If you notice what we did in the rest endpoint is we updated, we created basically a user with a with a name. Okay, whatever we pass, we pass Peter. Uh, the team name for Peter will be development. Salary will be ten thousand. And then finally phone number will be whatever and then we are creating two new user log one is saying hi youtube one is saying hi viewers so if you notice here finally we are again returning that from the repository basically we are uh, persisting this information so this is basically a persist and this is again we are uh, getting all get all information okay so we are persisting and getting all the information that's what has happened so per peter got persisted inside users and inside users if you notice there is a users log which is a list and it is going to return the list of user log which is available there okay so that is what is happening if i refresh again if you see another uh, user got inserted and if i if i do a rest slash all right so let's do a localhost user slash all okay if you notice here the information which is corresponding to that particular user is coming so if you see here id for that particular user log is unique if you see here 3 4 has come and inside that what is the user id which is nothing but our user id okay that is what is happening so if you see if you want to see in the database uh, let me refresh the database so users log is the table where you can see multiple rows are there for the same user which is nothing but the user id okay and inside users you have two rows called peter and in the contact you have a contact information so what we have done is we have mapped a single user with the user id one to multiple rows in the users log table and how did we do that is using this particular annotation which is there inside users so one to many uh, we are going to say cascade all because we if you want to persist uh, information from the users table to the user log we have to say ca uh, cascade all if let's say you want to use this particular annotation just for viewing purpose you can remove the cascade all and you can add uh, insertable and updatable as false so if you do that so by default insertable and updatable is true so if you do this you won't be able to update the users log using this entity so basically you have to use your users log entity to update if you notice here i have not created any repository for users log because i am updating the users log from here itself but if you want to view only the users log and persist only the user log you have to separately do it and you can disable that if you don't want from the 
main entity is basically the user's entity so this is how you do use one to many and if you want to join uh, using multiple columns you can do you can use add join columns same with the uh, one on one to one you can use add add join columns okay in that case as well if you want to join with multiple uh, fields okay so that's it for this particular video um, if you have any comments or um, any clarifications um, post in the comments below I'll be able to reply for that if you have any new topics uh, for something which you want to, me to cover I can do that as well uh, do like and share and subscribe if you if you like the video uh, meet you again in the next session with uh, mini to one example thank you